What am I hearing? Oh my! Charming. We're gonna be checking out some cyanide happiness. Try not to laugh challenge today for you guys. So this Loki may be the last. I keep saying on all of these videos. Uh, it's just essentially whenever they keep uploading more shorts, I will react to them and I'll try to make it into one video so you can just watch it throughout because you want to do it and then try not to laugh because they're pretty hilarious. So we're gonna be watching five today. The first one is called Dookie Boy. I don't know what anything this can be about. It just sounds disgusting and gross. So I hope you guys are ready to lose at this challenge because trust me, you're gonna laugh. You're definitely gonna laugh. There's no way to avoid it. You might as well just start laughing now. You might as well just take the L now. Comment, Prince Charming takes dubs. I swear, there's always a motorcycle whenever I'm filming. Do y'all hear that? There's always a motorcycle when I'm filming. But I'm feeling you to like, subscribe, and go ahead and comment a funny roast on today's video. I don't know if y'all know this, but I actually gave myself a little haircut. I cut my bangs a little bit because they're like over my eyes and everything, so they're too long. So I don't know if you can roast me for my hair anymore. I do need a face still, so you can probably do a couple jokes on that. But at the, at the end of the day, go ahead and roast me. But enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and check out the Sign I Happiness Trying to Laugh compilation today. Hope you guys enjoy the video. The Dookie Boys. Ew, that's why they're called the Dookie Boys. Are these like <laughs> international criminals? Road out. There's no road, you idiots. The sheriff told them Dookie Boys to straighten up and fly right. This ain't what he had in mind. This is from a movie. I just don't know what scene this is, movie's from. Wow, y'all are just floating there. What are you boys doing up there? Staying away from you, Officer Dangle. Ain't that right, Skid Mark? Yeah, that's right, Skid Mark. How are you having trouble what catching the them? Ooh, you How? boys have done it now! How do you have trouble catching them? Just about every law in the book. Now you're done gone and broke the laws of physics! Come on down for Oh, you don't mess with physics. If we come down, you're just gonna put us in jail, ain't you? You need someone needs to fire him because he has trouble catching them. That's why you have a white doo doo on your head. KFC man, he's oh my gosh. Did y'all do that? Honest. Ignorance is no excuse. It's finally happening. Now I've let you It took you this long before, but breaking the universal law of gravitation is where I draw the line. They look They're like deformed potatoes. <laughs> it's time y'all understood the gravity of the situation. Uh, <laughs> that was a funny joke, sir. <laughs> they finna get some white privilege though. <laughs> Let's hear it. Probation. We know it. Oh, there's no, there's no sentencing. The Dookie Boys. What the? His life is a sitcom. No. This is a nightmare for him. That's not possible. <laughs> None of this is possible. You just woken up in the Matrix, my sir. There's a glitch. I'll never understand this world. He's gonna shoot himself. Ah! <laughs> You're just gonna go with the captions all the way. Oh my gosh. Death by captions. What an interesting way to go. Is that the end of it? I think it is the... No, is it the end? I can't tell if it's the end. It's definitely... Oh, there he is. There he is. That's what I wanted to wait for. <laughs> I always thought it would be so weird to live in a sitcom. Because you, can you imagine ha hearing a laughing track every time you make a joke? Especially if it's not funny. <laughs> I don't like watching shows with laughing tracks. The only ones I watched were Friends, How I Met Your Mother, and I watched a little bit of the Bang Big Bang Theory, but I don't watch it no more. I had to watch Friends because that's a classic, and that was made back in the day when like the laugh track was like a common thing. Now you watch The Office if you find that funny. I don't really find that too funny, but hey, if you like The Office, go ahead and watch The Office. I'm into drama above all else, so yeah, a good drama is always gonna get me. Johnny and Marissa sitting in a tree. Johnny oh. and Marissa sitting in a tree. K I. -S -S I promise I didn't watch this. First comes love, then comes marriage. I promise then I didn't comes watch an this. abrupt and tragic miscarriage. Then comes blame. Then comes despair. Two hearts damaged beyond repair. Get out from their picnic. Weirdo. D I V O R C E. Divorce. That's what it's spelled. <laughs> I went to school. You're letting 
break you up like that? This dude literally just came in on their picnic and broke up a couple just like that. Oh my gosh, the pattern that he holds. He just came out of nowhere. They're minding their own business, madly in love. They're probably gonna start a family, move in together, and everything, the whole shebang. And he destroyed what they took years to build in a matter of seconds. Matter of seconds, they no longer felt the love they had for each other. What kind of evil power is that? Trash, AKA my ex. <laughs> I don't have that. Billy, what are you doing? I'm eating trash, dad, you old asshole. Ugh! I just don't know how to get through to him. Well, maybe it's time to- Your son eating trash. He mentally ill. Sign that happened to his guide to parenting. A guide to parenting by three guys with no kids. <laughs> They're finna tell you all the wrong things. Oh! I mean, if that works, it works. <laughs> Give them a five star on Amazon. I feel like you never really need to read books on parenting. Either you're a good parent or you're not. I never really understood that. Like books on raising a baby. Yes, that's completely different. There's a lot of information about babies that you probably don't know about and you need to really study up on. But raising a kid, like, yeah, I feel like that just comes naturally. Am I not right? I mean, my parents didn't re read any books and I came out perfectly fine. I mean, look at me. I'm a nice YouTuber. Very nice with my fan base. I reply to your comments. I'm very respectful with the ladies. I came out good and they never read a single book. But hey, maybe it's just other people. Maybe it's just other cultures. I just know in my culture, bro, it's either you got it or you don't got it. The world's greatest detective. Are we finna see some Batman? Thank you all for joining me here. You're not Batman. That's my investigation. I have to choose that's my investigation. <laughs> Could be no one of you. But it was all of you. All of you. Doctor, it was you who supplied the anesthetic that was then applied to Madame Magdalene's monogram haircut gif, which was used to render the victim unconscious. <laughs> Once the victim was rendered unconscious, the rest of you proceeded to stab the victim with Monsieur Baptiste's knife. Damn! Each of you dropping something in your action. Monsieur Edmond, he went out like Jordan, that? Madame Rose, your Gosh. Pants, Monsieur Jean, ashes from your cigarette, and Monsieur Le Fou, your pet. What did he do to y'all? He didn't follow y'all back? <laughs> now that I have discovered you, I trust you all to turn yourselves in. Oh, you're the dead. Train reaches this station. You're dead. You gave it up too soon. I knew it. <laughs> wow. Murder, suicide. Oh my gosh. Greatest detective. Why do you think he did it? What am I, a detective? <laughs> what an idiot he just basically snitched and told them he knows the truth while they're on the train still you're supposed to do it when you're in front of the cops i don't know if that's how the actual movie went but hopefully the actual actor who played in that movie wasn't this dumb maybe he really did reveal it on the train but then that the people who were caught actually just did turn themselves in but geez louise they stabbed him how many times like bro what did he do to you that was so bad y'all just body this man all 10 or 11 or 12 of y'all privacy what am I hearing? Billy, I... Billy! Oh my gosh! Billy, I bought you that computer for schoolwork. Dad, I just... Get out! You're gonna get out? Did I go wrong with that I swear, parents, man. My uh, mom would have slapped me. Last time. Oh, beat his ass again. I agree. Mm, surely within these pages, something can help me. Throw it at him! I'm gonna open a tab for this one. Son, there's something I want to show you in this book. Hmm. What do you want, Dad? He doesn't even. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he won't be touching his dick for a while. This book has solved all of our problems. I don't even know what to say at this point. Yeah. That was Cyanide Happiness, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Do you know how, like, whenever you see a guy get hit in that groin area, you low key feel it a little bit? You low key feel it a little bit because you know what it will feel like if it happened to you. That's essentially what I just went through. I hope other guys out there didn't have to experience what I went through. It's very traumatizing. I don't know how I'm going to get through it. But if you took a dub on that challenge, go ahead and comment a dub in the comment section because I want to know every one of y'all that are able to win just like me <laughs> but don't forget to hit me with a like subscribe and go ahead and comment on this video if you want a reply from your truly prince charming my name is prince of hawk and stay charm my friends